afternoon viewers it's not the best day to be mowing but it is the day that we're going to be mowing it's um, late afternoon early evening and um, if we don't get some of this mowed down it's going to get it's just going to be there causing the humidity to uh, just get really bad around the house so I'm just showing you about I think Jerry's just gonna mow the front right now but we're looking pretty shaggy out here some of this is waist-high for me I'm five foot three this is along our road in the ditch. This is um, we call it Johnson's grass, but you can hardly see unless there's a flower on the rose bush. You can't even tell where they are because the grass has grown up so much around them. So this is our before picture, and I'll do a do the same walk or try to do the same walk uh, when he gets done so you can see how much better it looks. I uh, was thinking about my one llama out here behind the house, Sinatra, and I remembered that he liked to put his feet in a, a, not a pan, but a container of water. And before it's been a metal container, but I had this out in the garden and I'm not using it. So I brought it over here, filled it maybe a quarter full to see, uh, see if, he'll do, if he'll do it again this year. So right now he's interested in eating but maybe I'll catch him later this evening uh, standing in the water. It's his method of staying cool. Oh dear, it looks like a breakdown of some sort. Farmers actually had to get off the mower, so I'm gonna pause here, go find out what's going on and if I can help him. As you can see, it's looking better already. Used to be able to go in between the trees, but with the rose bushes there, I think Lee's going to have to uh, use the weed whacker and uh, get that get that those areas cleaned up. But this is just a tremendous improvement over what it was half an hour ago. Okay, this is sort of where I started the video and showed you all the grass and whatever and he's got all of this done he's got the front done which i'll walk out there because um, lee's out there uh, doing the weed whacking but he's got the parkway not parkway excuse me our driveway of sorts this entrance here leads all the way to the back to the paddocks and the barn out there and he's just gone up to a certain point which is usually what we do so he's out here weed whacking and we try to I do when I mow I try to get a lot of the grass clippings to, to uh, go back into the pen the horses will clean it all up but you can see how, how he's got the uh, red rose bush. I think that's the yellow one. He's working around one of the trees. But it's pretty thick. And so he's doing a close-up job and taking his time. He's also going to come out here and move back around the walnut trees. Just a little history. We had a 
tree garden, and this is what was left when Jerry was going to Crowder College. They got some free um, uh, starters, and these are pin oak. One pin oak is left, and then um, maples. And our intent is to dig these up and move them out. Each one of these to. clean up around our wood pile flag pole this is my uh, curly willow tree um, the leaves are all kind of crinkly and that's the way they're supposed to be and the limbs cross over each other it's kind of an interesting tree I have to be sure I keep uh, water they like to have wet feet and originally and we still may do it I don't know but there's a depression down here that was going to be a koi pond and that's why I planted the willow tree out here as part of the ring around the uh, koi pond but we've gone to a plan B which there's um, a video or two about that already posted and more to come but it looks a lot cleaner the chickens can get down to what's in the ground. Um, it does take away a little bit from uh, grazing for Sinatra, but I've always got something else up my sleeve. So the back looks pretty good. It'll cut down on um, the flies, the humidity out here, and um, other little bugs that attack you from the grass. You can see how well this cleaned up with the um, weed whacker. I think I'll have to come out and clean up around the uh, rose bushes a little bit. The grass just got to be too much and it kind of blew into the into the uh, rose ring. But it looks so nice and clean and the road got is all the grass is off the road except for out there in the front and I'll get a broom and sweep that back it's not that big of a deal but this is uh, this is part of our life uh, in the summertime is to keep this grass down and keep the weeds at bay so if you like this video and you like us please subscribe we're trying to get our our subscriber count up and I would appreciate you being a subscriber. You sh can share the video with your friends and family. Uh, hit the like button if you like it. And uh, the notification bell so you know when the next one's coming. Until then, see you on the next video.